welcome back. It is Friday again, which means it's time for another weekly makeup basket. These are things that I have been wearing throughout the week, and I will tell you little mini product reviews, and I usually go in the order that I put them on my face. So, first thing is, and it looks like, there it is. I have been using this Marc Jacobs concealer in number two, Alive. It is a little bit light for my skin tone right now, but sometimes when you're trying to conceal that you're very tired, that is a good thing. I love this product. It is a little thick, so you just need to put a very thin layer on and really dab it and then set it with powder. For my foundation, I've still been using this Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. I have this in 25 Nude Beige. Supposedly this improves the look of your skin over time of use, so I'll probably use this for two to three weeks solid and see if that claim actually works, and then I'll do a full review of that product. For bronzer, I'm still working on the Hoola bronzer, the sample. I'm getting very close to being done. I have several products that I'm working on a project pan for. If you want to check out that video, I should, I may have posted it already. I think I've posted it already. I'll check and make sure I posted it already. Um, but this is one of the products that I have in sort of a personal project pan products to finish up by the end of the year. I have a blush, and this is Tarte Blush. This is in Doll Face, and I can't decide right now whether I think this is too light for my skin or I think it is just right. I am putting on a couple of different layers, so I think I'll, I'll pull that out again probably in a couple weeks. For highlighter, I'm using another product, the SB Highlighter in Pink Pearl. I'm trying to use this up. It is a liquid highlighter. I think it looks absolutely stunning, but it is just a little sample size, so I'm kind of trying to use that up. Um, let's see. For my brows, I am, this is another pan product, the Brow Stylist Sculptor by L'Oreal. This is in Darkest Brunette. I'm trying to finish this up. I do like this product quite a lot, especially if you like pencils. This is a fantastic product. It's lasted forever and it was only $12. I put this in a couple of project pans already and it just never seems to go away. So it is a great product for the money. I do prefer powders, so I'm looking forward to this being finished up. For my eye primer, another pan product, the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Branded. This is what I've been using as my base, and I'm doing a really good job of getting some work around the edges done on that product. I love the color tattoos. If you haven't tried one yet, they are absolutely fantastic. They're like six or seven dollars they're very cheap and they last a very long time i know some people have complained that they've had problems with their color tattoos drying out i've not i haven't had a single one dry out i live in oklahoma we're sometimes very dry and sometimes very humid so i don't know if the weather makes any kind of difference for eyes this week i have been using my kat von d autograph pencil in poro amor which I know I butcher every single time that I use this. I really like this product for tight lining. They come in, a, they used to come in the eyeshadow palette, so I have, I think, three or four of these. So I'm gonna continue to, to use that for a little while. I have several tight line products that I really like. I'm working on finishing up my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is a fantastic eyeliner. My only complaint with this is that the tip of the felt has started to fray on me from time to time. So I just kind of snip off with fingernail scissors the little frayed ends and then it works great again. But I think that this is getting to the end of its life. For mascara, I've been using Kat Von D's Immortal Lash. And again, this is in Puro Amor, which means black. But this has that, that really long, flexible brush. I like this mascara. It does a great job of lengthening. I don't think it does a really great job of thickening. So I might start pairing this with a second mascara so I get a great length from this and then a great 
thickness from the other. Um, also for eyes, I've been using two different eyeshadow palettes. Um, I got this one from Ipsy and the sticker still kind of wants to stick on the side from time to time. I need to do a much better job of pulling that off so that I can actually open it up and show the product to you. There we go. I'll just remove the sticker completely from the side. That way it doesn't keep sticking. But this is one that I got from Ipsy from NYX. It even says Ipsy on it. And it doesn't really have a name to it. But the shades are very pretty. They're not necessarily shades that I always go to. But I've only tried it once and I did enjoy the look that I got. So I'm going to pull that out again later. The main eyeshadow palette that I've been using this week is my chocolate bar. I think a lot of times with eyeshadow palettes, I'll get something new and I forget about the things that I've had before. So I pulled this back out to really play with it. I like it a lot. I'm not a big wearer of browns, so I tend to use a lot more of the purples and the pinks in this particular palette, but I do really enjoy the looks that I get from it. I think they are great, fantastic day looks, and I can also pull off a pretty good evening look as well. For lips, I have been remembering to wear lipstick, and I've been working on this L'Oreal Color Riche um, Le Gloss in Violet Attitude, which is what I have on my lips right now. I really like the way that this gloss feels. I wish that the applicator wasn't this kind of squeeze applicator because I feel like I never I either get too little or too much every time that I try to use it but I do really like the color and I like the way that it feels on my lips I it lasts probably about an hour so I reapply often but that is my makeup basket for this week if you have any suggestions or products that I just really need to try leave me a comment down below or just leave me a comment because you want to don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time bye